Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT9. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. So TNT. Yo. Um, have you ever had to use a translator before? Like, have you ever had like a job where you had to like call a translator, like anything at all? Uh, no, I've used like apps on my phone, I guess, like the Google Translator. I've done that before. I, uh, well, when I want to know if somebody's making fun of me, <laughs> right? No, nah, um, nah. so what, uh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I have at work, uh-huh. uh, we have a translator service. You call, you tell them what language that you need, mm-hmm. you know, and then it's, it's very interesting to use, like even mm-hmm. on a phone call. Mm-hmm. And like, it's funny because the job I did it for was not a customer service based job. Mm-hmm. And it was, uh, and you could always tell when the translator was like using the tone that was supposed to be like kind when you were like trying to be like assertive and like you it, like I, it, they like you I would talk for like a minute like da 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 here's our situation like and they would just and they'd say like three three sentences and I'd be like translator I don't think you got all that and they would just be like sorry and I'm like you don't have to be not you can tell them what I said like it's it was funny so like it always makes uh, me think like our translators really like really doing say, the service see and that's and that's why the ones on the cell phones are getting pretty comprehensive oh yeah yeah they I know are, we're yeah. going off a topic yeah, a little yeah, bit no, but we'll I know the back. ones on the cell phones are getting pretty good the uh, apparently there's one on the uh the new Google phone not the new Google phone the new uh Android phone that works pretty well too I haven't gotten a chance to use it on mine yet but uh yeah, we're getting closer to the point where we won't need a fi- once again taking the jobs of Americans yeah. through AI. Yeah, <laughs> but it's like like I don't think people are going to want to carry a phone around if if they have to, to like, they're like this guy that we're about to talk about. But I did use Google Translate when I went to Mexico. Yeah. Like for the like the guy would come to the room to like because I was at a resort, so you get like they would give you like pop and water and candy yeah. and alcohol or whatever. So I literally was like, "Can I have a bottle of whiskey for the room?" and like just showed it to him, and then he, I let him talk. And I and I took it in and saw what he said. Yeah. So the ones so, they're getting are getting better, where you can talk and it does it almost in real yeah, time. Yeah, 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 exactly. So, but anyways, so there's a baseball player. He's super fa- like he's like the the best player in the league. And what's really weird about him is he is a pitcher and he can hit, which is like unheard of. Okay. So it. I don't know it's, much uh, about baseball. What? I don't know much about baseball. Yeah, most of the time you're a pitcher or you're not. Like Babe Ruth back in the 20s was a pitcher and a hitter or whatever. But normally pitchers don't try to hit; they just pitch. Mm-hmm. But this guy, he's a pitcher, and he's a really good hitter, too. Okay. So, but he's he's from Japan, I think Japan, and he has a oh, translator. Dude, they love baseball out there. Oh, Japanese baseball is huge. It's huge. So, so this guy just got paid something stupid, like $700 million on, like, a new contract or something. <laughs> baseball salaries are insane. Yeah, they do, but here's they the thing. They play a lot of games. They play a lot. It's like they play, games. I think, like, six months out of the year, yeah. and they literally play almost every day except for, like, yeah. one a week or something, and yeah. that's it. So they go from city to city to city to yeah. city, play every day. It's, like, a f- it's like being on tour. It's a gauntlet. Yeah. 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 So, um, but it's so still anyways, in, that's still an insane. This amount dude of money. is not only his his baseball translator; he, it's like his personal life assistant translator. He he's been with, he's known him Man. forever. Just he translates for him. They were in the middle of a team meeting, and the the translator stands up on his own and in English tells everyone that like I have a gambling problem. He's helped. He's he's paid off my gambling debts. You know, out of nowhere. So, like, the team's like, what the fuck is going on? And so, and here, here was the biggest red flag of all of this. It's illegal to bet on baseball. Yeah. Like, in baseball, it's weird because in football, you can't bet on anything. You can get suspended. In baseball, you can bet, but you just can't bet on your own. You can't, I don't think you can't bet on baseball itself. Definitely not your own games. I think if you bet on baseball but not your game, you get a suspension. Bet on your own game, lifetime ban, Pete Rose. Yeah. Because yeah. he bet on his own game. But he bet on his own team. To, well, yeah, he bet on his own team to win, which is weird. Like, if you're betting on your own team to lose, I see that. Yeah. Because then you can throw it. Yeah. But if you're betting on yourself to win, I don't understand. Yeah, that's just confidence at yeah, that point. Right, I don't know. But anyways. I would so, always bet on my own team, right? So what, what came out originally was like, this is really weird. Is the debt really this guy's? And he's been betting on sports. And, but the mm-hmm. but the, the mm-hmm. interpreter's taking the fall. Yeah. So this came out, they did that, and then all of a sudden, like the next day, then the story changes that he stole the money from him to like pay off his debt. And like so oh. it, it's it's just getting like so they obviously he got fired the translator, like whatever. So I'm like, did they have a plan and the translator just messed it up? 
Or was it really the translator had a gambling problem, stole it? was like four million dollars. Yeah, it was it a lot of money. It, it was wasn't a lot of like money. it, it was wasn't like he owed like twenty five grand to a bookie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Millions of dollars he owed. But I mean, the dude just made These astronomical. Baseball games are getting super realistic. This literally looks like you're watching a game on TV. <laughs> yeah, but obviously baseball salaries are crazy. So four million is like pocket change for these guys. But yeah, it's not even it's not even ten percent of yeah, his, his exactly. money. So it's like, but I guess the guy had full access to all his funds because he was like he was like his personal assistant translator. Yeah, I'm wondering if he was stealing. If, it seems to me like he was stealing it, probably. and then he tried to say is that the guy paid him paid him paid them off because he was probably caught. I'm thinking. Yeah, like something was going to come out, and he tried to get ahead of the story. Is my guess. It's so it's so sad to see. I mean. It, well, they prop what probably if if the if the guy the baseball guy is really innocent, probably what happened is someone noticed the money being paid to like yeah, a bookie, and yeah. he tried to get in front of it to not get exactly. the player in trouble. Yep, and yep, that's what I was getting at. Yeah, like it's it's sad, but on the same, it's like because you, you know he was making good money. You're the translator, trans yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, for for a. Translator for a baseball star, you're making a lot a of money. A translator for one of the premier baseball stars, you're making good money. You're going everywhere he goes, all over the world, all over these different cities. He's got to pay you every day you're there. Yeah. Bro, you've got the life. If I got super rich, I might hire a translator just so I didn't have to talk to people. Like, <laughs> like they wouldn't even be a translator. They'd just be a conduit. Like, like I would like, they would talk to me and I would like pretend like I didn't know what they were saying. And I'd talk to the translator and yeah. I'd be like, Oh yeah, here's what. I, and then he would like translate my English to English back to them. And I would just ignore everyone. You see, this guy is such a liar because you love talking. <laughs> oh me? Yeah. Oh, I'm a thousand You're, percent. I would be like, exactly. can I talk to everyone? You know, if anybody was going to do that, it would be me. <laughs> and you know that. <laughs> I know. In I fact, be, when you said it, I was like, this is an awesome idea. I would be your translator. If you yeah, ever got I really rich, that. you talk to me, and then I talk to everyone else. Bro, <laughs> oh my God, I would pay you. You can steal four million from me if I'm making his money. If I'm making yeah. his money, you got it. Yeah. Right? You're like, I'll, you, you just pretend like you don't hear anything anyone says. You oh, talk to me. Oh my then God. I, then I relate, and they're like, I can hear him. He's speaking English. And I'm like, oh no. Oh no, my he, God. That he, sounds amazing. <laughs> You're like, I have to call the, I have to call my bank. I'm like, all right, I'll call him. Oh. <laughs> I'll be, oh my God. Sorry, he doesn't speak English. They're like, sir, he is speaking. No, no. No, I know it no. sounds like you speak English. <laughs> I Definitely I don't not. Speak. Tell him I don't speak English. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'm, you're like, this lady's a dumb bitch. Tell her I don't speak English. I'm like, ma'am, he says he couldn't understand what you were saying. What do you need to just. She's like, I heard him call me a bitch. You're like, no, no, no. I'd be like, Jonas, you don't have to be nice. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell them what I said. <laughs> They're like right in front of you. You're the cashier at Walmart. <laughs> they're talking directly to you and you just look at them like you literally have no idea what they're saying. I'm telling you, man. That's amazing. Honestly, I love that. Yeah. But I'm if sure I was rich was... enough, I would, do, well, I would yeah. do that for you. I'm sure it was probably tough for this guy. You know, he, he doesn't speak any English or minimal English. Yeah. And then you get somebody that you probably vetted to a certain extent and you, you learn to trust them. forever. So it's like yeah. you probably before you were even famous, when you, as soon as you like were popular enough to need a translator yeah right? that's what i guess part of me kind of wishes that it was the the other scenario where the, the baseball player had the gambling problem and uh, oh it's a way more salacious story that's for sure that he that the baseball player yeah had? yeah yeah like he had the yeah. problem he's covering it up and yeah he's really like a degenerate gambler and he's like the best player in the league and like yeah that was oh yeah, yeah okay that is more salacious yeah yeah because then becomes he becomes the target yeah so yeah that would be better but is it, it, just because I want to see the friendship last. It, it's sad to me when I see a friendship go over something as, as petty as that, man. It, that, like, that's pocket change, man. It, it, it's nothing. It's nothing. Yeah. To him. No, to exactly. him. No, right. Yeah. I mean, if I had, bro, if I had $800 million and you were like, I have a gambling problem and I have a $4 <laughs> million dollar debt, I wouldn't be happy about it, but I'd be like, I got you, homie. Like. Let's not let this happen again. Dude, yeah, why are you yeah. why are you four million dollars in gambling debt, motherfucker? I'm gonna cover it up. But what are you doing? Yeah, like wait, stop. Yeah, yeah. Chill. Like, I pay you well, but not four million dollars. Yeah, well, like, what like, you, at you man, you make this guy was making what? Probably four million dollars a year. He probably was making. Yeah, I, it, he right? was making close to like, six figures, you, seven figures. Yeah, you, you gotta know. go to every baseball game. You got. You're a 24 hour anything. You're making at least six figures. You're going everywhere. This guy goes. This guy wants to go to McDonald's. You're going with him. 
Yeah, and I don't know. It sounds like the life of me. I kind of wish I knew Japanese. I gonna help dude out. <laughs> hey, uh, I'll be. I'll. Hey, I'll be, <laughs> me? Yeah. Uh, mushy, mushy. Yeah, <laughs> mushy, mushy. So, I don't know. I mean, more will come out. Obviously, we'll see oh, what happens. Okay. But I, I still part of me deep down. I just love a good scandal. <laughs> and like i would love for this to be like e even more deep and lie filled than anyone knows i mean like, they'll probably do some investigating on it oh for sure because they need they well they to. need to investigate to make sure that he's not the one gambling it, that's the biggest thing is because somebody close to you just came out with that information who's to say that you aren't the one that's yeah, like if I was rich and him. famous and you're my homie and all of a sudden you get arrested for something really <laughs> odd and weird they're like is he taking the fall for he, him? They're, yeah. they're close. Is he taking the fall? Yeah. Like, you know, or, I would, or like I said, he could be funneling the money through him. He's using him as kind of like the, the conduit. Uh, yeah. Yeah. To, he's like, oh, yeah, yeah. He's making the bets. But, a, a laundering service. Yeah. Essentially. <laughs> yeah. He's like your bet launderer. Yeah. Like, yeah. But it's I don't know. We'll see what happens. But that's all the time we have for this episode. Please make sure to like, subscribe, go to the crazy for Jonas. TNT. Oh, yeah.